He stars in the Hallmark Channel original series, When Calls the Heart. Yay. He's also here to perform a very special song from his new album, which is devoted to his father. Welcome back, <laughs> our good friend, Paul Green. Yay. Buddy, my name is Thank you. Great to see you, buddy. Hi. Great to see you. I know I got to reach across the You're table. So far Excuse away. Excuse the reach. right? It's nice. It's how do you like the, How do you like the new family room, Paul? Did you design it? He well, did. We had a <laughs> he had something to do. A with. lot to do with it. <laughs> Not a so lot much. to do with it. Not so much. It, it always feels good. Here. Yeah. It, well, we. It always feels great when you're in the house. That's that true. is for sure. Stop it. Coming off a two night extravaganza, yeah. so what calls the heart? Uh, we got another new episode nice. coming up this weekend. Dr. Carson Shepard, fill us in on how his relationship with Faith is going to be progressing through the season. Everybody's very excited yeah. about this. Well, it's been a long time coming, really. Yeah. I mean, and it's a work relationship, which can be daunting. Difficult. At the best of times. And you put 1915 into the mix, mm. and there's not a lot of nurses around. No. <laughs> so yeah. not like Faith. So we, uh, yes, this is the, the season where our, our relationship and our love starts to grow, and there's a big public display of affection oh in the middle of the street. And yes, we're we're falling in love. So don't mess it up. That's like you good. said, there aren't many nurses around. That's right. People are rooting for up, you guys. Trouble. I know. You, that's just it. And then the whole work thing falls apart. And yeah, it's, it's important to, to keep it together. Keep it together. And you're also, speaking of keeping it together, trying to help her keep it together and reconnect with someone very important in her life. Yes. So, so... I, so we get to create our characters, right? And I am creating that Carson knows her relationship to her, her father's broken. And if I were Carson and my girlfriend wasn't talking to her father, I would be, okay, I want to make sure that her relation to her father is working well so that our relationship even has a chance. Okay. Smart. I'm not sure that Carson Shepard was that, you know, sophisticated right. in his, you know, the way his mind worked. But I like to pretend that. It's and your choice as the actor. It's my choice. Exactly right. So, and I love her, and I want to, and she's, I can tell it's bothering her, and we have this big talk around the campfire about her dad, and I'm really close to my parents, so I wanted to make sure that, that she had a shot at reconnecting with her dad. Right, and, and your way of, hoping that she has a shot is picking up the telephone and actually calling the man. Picking up the telephone. <laughs> picking up the telephone. This not like thing, that. This no, new like thing this called a telephone. Giant, which was just invented. It's yeah. new to town. New to town. So you pick up that, that big Alexander Graham Bell thing, put it to your ear. Yeah. And you call her father. And we, we have a clip. Oh, Let's you do. Hi. Okay. So you're, you're sure this is the guy, right? He's the only David Carter listed in Hamilton. It must be him. Ready for me to put you through? Yeah. Thanks, Fiona. Hello? I have a call for Mr. David Carter. OK. Put him through. Hello. Yes, Mr. Carter, this is Dr. Carson Shepard from Hope Valley. I work with your daughter, Faith. Yeah. Yep, I like it. I like the way it's shot. I like the way it's playing. It's very touching. Oh, know, it's Deb. really sweet. It, is sweet. it really is. Carson's a sweetie. I love oh, that no. you did that. And I love the drama of the way they pushed in oh, on yeah. the phone. I know how to do it. Well, if you're not in Hope Valley calling Faith's father, in your real life, you're calling your mother every single day, which is another reason we love you so much, Paul. You're, you're such a great son, and Mother's Day Sunday, but for you, it truly is every single day. Your mom has been your biggest supporter from the beginning, yeah. really supporting all your dreams, hasn't she? Yeah, my dad worked a lot when we were young, and he's in the oil business, so mom had to run us to countless sports, hockey, basketball, baseball, volleyball, everything. And she was a nurse, and a school bus driver, and a Sunday school bus oh my driver. Goodness. And so, yeah, we have. We she was busy. And I rebelled like her. I made life hard on her when I was a teenager. I'm shocked so I'm like to making hear up that. for it now. Oh, well, listen, <laughs> as long Sorry, as you Mom. realize that, you make, you make those phone calls, I and mean, that's a good son. That's a good yeah. son. And I like that she's come to set. And Mom is on set. I tried to get her to come and say hello, but she begged me not. I saw her. She, they were eating lunch together. It was Aww. so cute. My mom's adorable. And you know, when you talk to someone every single day, it actually, you have to make sure that the phone call is authentic because you can get into that automatic, like, how was your day? Good, good, right. how was yours? So I make an effort when I talk to her to have it be meaningful and not be like busy on Instagram or something. Like, cause it's, it's when something happens every day, you gotta remember to make it special. While they're here. It's While amazing. they're here. I mean, he just gets better and better, doesn't he? Dan? I know, I yeah. Mean, it's amazing. Not only that, but he's also <laughs> a great musician as well. A uh, great new album called Freedom For Your Soul. It drops today. This is very exciting. And I know 
it's exciting for people that love you and, and want to hear you play, but it's, it's especially meaningful to you, this album and the songs in it. It Tell is like, why. so the style is a little bit country and with sort of a little gospel, but it's like Americana, like you're driving across the desert. And there's, we have a pedal steel player and my dad loved the pedal steel. So it's a bit of a, like the style of music my dad liked and the lyrics too are a throwback, a little bit gospel and a little bit country. And a, the, a big part of it is the, some of the proceeds are going towards ALS, which my dad, uh, our dads. Both, both of our dads so passed away from ALS. So ALS.net is getting a percentage, and so is an autism fund. Uh, Kate Winslet has an autism fund called uh, the Golden Hat Foundation. I know you're involved with that as well. Yes, yeah. which is connected to the Carnegie Hall every right. year. That, which you just performed at. Yes, that was, going back to. You are. Yes. That's awesome. Paul. Yes, so that's a really cool. So the proceeds of the album are going towards that. And then the inside, there's a disc that comes out and it's my son. And like when you have a kid, you sort of get another shot at nurturing your inner child, right? You know this, you guys know this as parents. And so my son's on the CD that you pull out. It's a picture of him way in the sunset in the middle of the mountains by a mammoth. And right on it is freedom for your soul. So it's like a... My son, my father is kind of a, a you know, it's connected to both. Right. This is the kind of guy that Paul Green is, though, right it's here. The, like everything that you're talking about, yeah. this is the real deal. Yeah. I've known you for a while, and it's just so great to see you bringing your true, authentic self to everything right. that you do, man. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to remind everybody uh, about oh. how they can get the album and about When Calls the Heart, and then as we're finishing that, you're going to play us out, okay? So here we go. Okay. Everybody, uh, make sure you watch Paul and When Calls the Heart. It's going to happen, of course, this Sunday at 9, 8 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel, and be sure to pick up a copy of Freedom for Your Soul wherever music is sold. It Plus, is so good. If you're in the Los Angeles area or yep. in LA, just a few tickets are left to see Paul in person, Hotel Cafe in Hollywood tonight. You don't want to miss that. And